Hello, Raft Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link with me, Blue Ankylo. In last episode, we defeated uh, the third castle, and not too bad. I mean, we died again, but uh, still no game over, so can't complain too much. And we got a raft, so isn't that sweet? Um, what else? Got another level up for our attack power, as you may be able to tell. Lots more things are dying in one hit now, except I ran into a little poker guy. That was smart. Um, I like to be... I think I said last episode, I like to have around level 6 and everything around here, but... Um, 566 will do, I believe. Lots of attack power and pretty good defense and all that. Oh, get out of the graveyard. Whoa. What's this? I forgot this was here. This would have been handy last time. I totally forgot about that. Must have just missed it on my running around, actually. So there's a little spot there that you can get a, uh, a free magic potion. That's nice. Ugh, these things. You think these guys were bad? Imagine if they were invisible. Yep, that's coming. So, yeah, this is the little raft debarking spot. You have got a raft. So yeah, welcome to Continent 2. I can't remember what this is called, place is called. Oh, uh, these guys, we can't hurt them. So that's not very nice. And uh, whenever you see a... Oh, be careful. These guys hit really hard. I forgot. Um, really hard. Oh, too hard for me, actually. That's not very nice. Um, anyway, whenever you see a lone tree in the middle of a field, you have to check it out. So. Alright, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so we've got some new enemies and a new town. So that's fun, right? Where are we this time? Welcome to Naburu. That's a fun name. Naburu. Please save our town. From what? Town looks okay. I cannot help you. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Not everybody has to help us, I guess. With boots, I could walk on the water. Not just any boots, though, right? <laughs> well, that might be an item we'll get one day. Alright, old lady. Coming in for some loving. I think she actually... You could keep casting spells as much as you wanted, and it will just keep filling up your magic till it's full. Hey, lady! I am thirsty. Well, so how do you solve thirst? Well, you go to the fountain. Want to get some water? Why, yes, we do. <laughs> I don't know what we carried it over in, but <laughs> we have water. Come to my house. Thanks, lady. <laughs> That's not the hardest of the quests, or of the little mini quests to figure out. <laughs> but we will get something good out of this one. I mean, that fairy spell wasn't that great. You probably need to use it like three times in the whole game, but... <laughs> this magic will make your sword shoot fire. Well, thanks. I could handle that. So we have the fire spell, and that already costs as cheap as it will ever cost. Seeing as we've got a magic level 6, that's kind of handy. If you uh, had a lower level magic, it would probably cost more, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, we'll use that. Remember someone said, if all else fails, use fire? Well, we did already run into an enemy that we couldn't hurt, so maybe we'll have to use fire on them. Hmm? Hey, lady. See a man in Darunia before the islands. Um, okay. Please save our town. They say that a lot. Oh no, what's this lady got to say? The river devil eats those who are weak. Well,. <laughs> I guess you better. I better show you who, another room with a strange monster in it. We had one with a slime, and now one with a bat. I can't remember these towns for nothing. Wow, that's crazy. All right, well, we've explored our town. Don't really bother remembering all the names too much. To the right is an ocean that you can't walk across unless you have fancy boots. <laughs> and to the south. Well, there's these guys. Okay, let's show you how this works. We shoot fireballs. Um, 
And it does damage based on your sword level. So as your sword goes higher levels, attack power, it will do more damage. And it always is long range. And you can fight these lovely enemies. Uh, and waste all of your magic getting hit. You can only ca have two fireballs on screen at once. So that's just how the game works. That's fine. That little black dude there is the river devil. So that's nice. And I think somewhere around... Um, somewhere around this little pond there will be a uh, item. I'm pretty sure. I also seem to remember spending quite a lot of time when I was a kid fighting on this map against these little eyeball things getting levels up. Um, I can't remember just how high I used to get but uh, you know when I was a kid you know probably didn't have the best reflexes and I couldn't do it all at a low level so I had to get up to higher levels to do okay. So uh, this is where I would sort of grind because you get okay experience fighting this stuff and they're not that hard. You can hit the eyeballs with your sword beam if they're open so that's nice. And um, although they hit really hard, whatever they're called, um, it's fairly easy to dodge them or um, jump on their head and bounce with your little down thrust like I tend to do. Anyway, I believe there's something down here. A fairy. Well, it's not that great, but it's something. So, uh, that will do. Uh, this cave over here. I'm actually not sure if there's anything in this cave. It's probably a pea bag at the end. You can bounce off of them again. I think usually I just leave them alone because they're kind of a pain. But, uh, I'll take the experience. Thank you very much. The problem is um, monsters that you have to use a spell to kill. Um, you know, magic doesn't grow on trees. You know, you gotta. <laughs> you always run out if you use it too often. And for that, what do we get? Hmm, is there anything over here? There's a scorpion that shoots fireballs. That's lovely. And a pea bag with 500 experience. Well, that was worth the trip. What do you do with this guy? Can we hit him? I don't think can't remember. Yeah, yeah. You just have to jump on him when he's... or have to hit him when his eyeballs open. Oof. Pretty tough, I'd say. That took a lot of hits. And fireballs, you can't do anything about. They just kill you. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here. So we can't go down. We can't go to the east. And we came from the west. I suppose that only leaves one more direction. Might as well go north. If I was really wise, I would go refill all my magic and stuff right now, but hey, it's an adventure. I'm not gonna go heal up every time. Ah, oh, fireball to the face. Not so good. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go heal up every place I go. Uh, let's see. Oh, just enough to kill this thing. Let's do it. So this is another one of those um, immune to everything kind of monsters. Pretty much have to use fire to hit them. Uh, and in the face specifically, although they don't dodge too much. Maybe not in the face, I don't know. Like I said before, kind of a waste. Now, uh, I think there was someone in town who mentioned you're supposed to go to the town to the left before the one, before we head to the right. Um, and they probably had some fancy name for everything because you know, townspeople like to have names for stuff. Um, there is something we want to get over here first. Um, two things, actually. Er, well, we'll see. I can't remember for sure how this works. Um, this is a little bit of a dangerous area. Um, well, it's not too bad. We're fighting blue octorots or something or other. And they can just jump at you and spit, so no big deal. But um, you definitely want to fall down those pits. Looks like water, but you'll still drown, just as good as lava. This is the one, I believe, that has bubbles, yeah. It's even worse. Um, I ha I'll show you a trick on our way back, um, maybe next episode or something. There is a way to avoid these levels, actually. Um, you can probably guess if you're thinking very hard. Um, and that's 
fairly convenient actually because not fighting these is really nice um, being killed by a bubble and knocking you into the water is not the nicest thing in the world so I'll do this town as well in this episode just because it's the towny town episode mountain town of Darunia that's yeah that's where they told us to go this one has chimneys which you might want to keep in mind actually chimneys are cool hey lady yeah we need some healing that's for sure red dress always means healing just like orange old lady means magic so you don't even really have to think about it all right uh, I believe where we want to go is in this house how do you get there you ask well I think you might be able to jump up if you're really tricky here but what the way I like to do it is to fly so we're a fairy flying through town woohoo and uh, oh does that not work um I'm an idiot <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time no we have to jump up <laughs> you need to be an actual person to go down a chimney apparently so this shall be our uh, Santa Link episode. We're coming to the villagers to bring them presents. And yes, this is actually the way you're supposed to go. So the developers kind of had a sense of humor. <laughs> Down the chimney, right? <laughs> so what do we learn at this place? This isn't how you normally get spells. Nope, it's another attack. When you jump, press up to stab. Sweet. So now we've learned our other attack move. Up stab. Up thrust, whatever you want to call it. I would say not quite as useful as the down one, because you can't just bounce on enemies' heads forever, but also quite handy. There's lots of times when you'll want to use that. So that's good. What about our spell? Uh, something about the palace, I don't know. <laughs> hey lady, what's going on? Please save our town. Yeah, I, all the towns need saving, blah blah blah. Hey grandma, how about you? You must save Hyrule. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on! She turned into a bat. <laughs> I think this is the next house, yeah. Okay, Grandma. Purple Grandma. Rescue the kidnapped child on the island. So now, essentially, we have to start heading towards the next level to do that, or we won't learn the next spell. A powerful knight lives in this town. Yep. That was your hint to go looking for chimneys. <laughs> There's probably someone else that gives you another hint, but... Yes, yes. Oh, come on. She tells you to save the town and then she turns into a bat. Lame. So, uh... Okay, I'll show you this trick before we leave. I'll try anyway. Um, essentially, you line up where the level is. Remember that square. And what you want to do is... Okay, well, that's not going to work. Um, um, you want to get into an enemy encounter on that square just as you're on your way over essentially so I'm going to try a couple times to see if I can get it because the random encounters here aren't that scary um, it works better when the random luck is with you and the um, and these are new enemies anyway I haven't shown you these things they should look familiar from other Zelda games though like the first one <laughs> and the third one actually maybe even the fourth one I don't know Oh, it moved at the last second. But if an enemy s appears below you and heads directly towards you, this happens. And, uh, okay, we'll just kill a couple things because experience is good. You know, if I was a kid, maybe I would have been smarter to come to one of these to get experience. Or maybe not smarter because it seems to be killing me. Anyway, then you find yourself on that square without having to have done that level. Ah, oh, it dodged me again. I'll try one more time. It's kind of a neat little trick, and you can avoid some really hard areas if you learn how to do this properly. Um, near the end of the game, there's a couple like of these tile, whatever you want to call them, um, mini levels that... Oh, come on! That's like twice in a row it dodges at the last second. <laughs> I swear this doesn't normally happen. Um, anyway, the point is there are some really hard levels with crazy lava and jumps and death and if you okay that's it enough of this downwards with no bubbles I don't care um, although I want that magic potion <laughs> uh, anyway what I'm trying to say something 
uh, eventually there are some places where it's probably worth your time to skip to try to skip the levels here I don't know if it's that big of a deal <laughs> oh man that was horrible how can blue inky low become more embarrassed during his let's play killed by spiders killed by spiders would be more embarrassing yes Come on, kill him. I want another heart. Not a heart, I guess. What do I get? I get a life up if I get a level up, I think. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's too much dam- Oh, crap. Ganon has returned. <laughs> oh, and I lost all that experience. Anyway, that's how you save it if you want to save it. <laughs> Uh, well, I might as well save it. It's the first time I've saved it. Alright, well, <laughs> we have one death under our name. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's a good point to wrap the episode up, I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my misery there. Now, I'll probably, uh, next episode, I'll just, uh, I'll travel all the way back to that area so you won't have to watch me do it again. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.